Hello there. I hope you're all well. My name is Jerome and I, somehow, I think, for the most part, am the sane realist. Uh, the burrito project continues on. The success question mark, quote unquote, of it continues to grow. Um, I am unsure. I, I feel kind of honestly traumatized at this point. We've done, we did three burrito runs this week. Um, we've been doing two a week pretty much and we're getting to know some of these people. We're starting to see the same faces again and again. Uh, some families, homeless families. The, the level of human tragedy and depravity and absolute suffering is it's almost more than my soul can take at times I just you know thank God for my wife she's she's pretty much the anchor that I have right now which is keeping me sane uh, because the amount of you know I'm I'm intentionally putting myself into the most destitute, dangerous, filthy situations that I can find. And grabbing people by the hand and putting some food in their stomach, you know. Um, a fellow uh, yesterday, sorry about the thumb thing, a fellow yesterday <clears throat> was walking by, we were all out there, and now we were, there's like six people. So <laughs> We're this little happy crew marching down the street with our little wheel carts and uh, <laughs> looking for the homeless. We're searching them out. In every little nook and cranny, we know where they hang out now, and we go in there, and <laughs> it's not pretty. And we do. We go in there. And, you know, many of the people are there really by choice. Many are trapped you know, in holes like the one that I'm looking at right now. People sitting there, definitely not waiting for the bus. Over at the bus stop here, definitely not waiting for the bus. An old man in a wheelchair, probably 68 to 70 years old, sitting there in the hot sun day after day after day. Every time we go out, he's sitting there. And usually he's not really very conscious you can't communicate with him. You can. What I end up doing is I leave a burrito on his the thing of his chair, and it gets eaten. He eats it. But, oh man, man, man! You know, I, I woke up this morning and the lives of all these people struck me. The family with three little children, one of them in a stroller sitting at this bus stop right over here day after day. Everybody filthy. The children filthy. Hopeless. Hopeless. You know. It's our own little ghetto right here on the corner. And now the area kind of behind the pawn shop here, now all of a sudden they've decided that, well, we can't have the homeless here. We're going to chase them out. And, uh, so here comes my wife on the bus. That's good. So basically, these poor people. I don't know what else to say. You know, I guess it, there is no harm, there is no sin in trying to help them in some small way. So, guys, God bless every one of you. Say a prayer for me if you do that. I appreciate that. My name is Jerome. Hi, I'm the same Thank you.